What do you want? Yeah, we know what you want. Welcome back. I'm Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. Um, today I want to introduce you to my herd. Uh, it's a very small herd, just got six. We've got five heifers and one bull. Two of our heifers are bred, they're three years old, and the other um, three are yearlings. So um, they're not able to be pregnant yet, but um, what we want to do today is I want to introduce you to every single one of them. Uh, yes, I've been asked this question several times. Um, I do have names for every one of them. When you have six of them, uh, you can give each one of them names. Plus, they're my first herd and, and it's easy and fun to identify them. And Because and, every single one of these animals have different characteristics. And so, uh, let's get to know them. So right here we have the bull. He is not the biggest animal out here, but he is, uh, he is our bull. And he's, he's the guy that we're counting on uh, to get the job done. His name is John Dunbar. I gave him the name from one of my first inspirations of the movie Dances with Wolves. Uh, that was kind of the one movie that I, it was a go-to movie in my childhood. And it's something I'm one I always love to watch. And uh, Kevin Costner, as you know, was the leading role in that movie. And uh, as a lieutenant, I believe he uh, his name was John John Dunbar. And so that's kind of the the name that we gave him. Um, we're really relying on him to hopefully do his job this summer and get some of these um, heifers bred. He's still in the middle of molting. He hadn't quite got everything off yet, but as you can tell. Okay, so what you see here is our quapaw heifers. Right here and here. They are our three-year-old bred heifers. 6,008 here, who's standing in front of me. Her name is Quapaw, and we gave her that name just because of the tribe she's from. Um, the one back here, rolling around in the dirt a little bit. Tag number 6005, that is Dakota. And the reason we gave her that name is because uh, her bloodline uh, comes from Theodore Roosevelt National Park in the Dakotas. These two heifers, when they first came in, um, wouldn't even come close to us. Um, they were out on about four or five hundred acres or so and um, Since they've came here, we have spent some time with them um, Pretty hands-on getting in the pens with them obviously feeding them just about every day and with that You know, uh, they become more patient with us. They kind of uh, Calm down a whole lot so for them to to be this close to us is, is quite a big deal. This is Bell Star, the feistiest heifer of the group. Uh, uh, she definitely has the most attitude of the group and she can turn on her uh, wittiness whenever she wants and she does it quite often. Uh, Bell Star gets her name from the famous bandit queen, the outlaw of um, Oklahoma during the 1930s and 40s 
Uh, she was known as the Bandit Queen because she was a horse thief who used to run with uh, some famous outlaws such as Jesse James. She definitely uh, can be um, dangerous at times. Um, nothing too crazy uh, yet, but when you get her in a pen um, and corral her up, corner, she does not like that, just like most of them don't. But um, she is a good looking heifer. She's two years old, and um, hopefully by this time next year, she'll be having a baby. Here we have coming up is Peaches. Peaches is our youngest heifer of the group. Uh, she's kind of the baby of the group. Peaches gets the name um, after the place where we got them from, located in Stratford, Oklahoma, about 30 minutes north of Sulphur. Uh, Stratford is famous for their peaches and their peach festival they have every year. So um, that's where we gave her that name. Here's one of our favorites. This is Eleanor. We gave Eleanor a name because she is the classy heifer of the group. She is the sweetest. Um, she was the very first one I ever touched in, in my first herd when we purchased them. Um, she is definitely the most gentle. She does love her some cattle cubes. Right now she's more interested in the grass. She's still molting. Hadn't quite got all of her uh, winter coat off, but she is a very, very sweet girl. Um, I say that at any moment she could be <laughs> a bison again, but um, she's she's pretty sweet most of the time. So um, she's just she's a really long um, heifer, which is a good trait to have, um, especially when it comes to breeding and um, hopefully uh, some of her offspring will have that longevity that she has from here to here um, because uh, that's where the stakes come from and so that's pretty important when it comes to meat production so her tag number um, is in the left side of her ear it means she is a heifer uh, we're lucky to have Eleanor she's the sweetest um, heifer of the group. We can't do this with all of our bison. Um, it's not always really safe to do this. If my wife saw me down here doing this right now, she'd be probably questioning me or yelling at me, telling me to get out of the pen. So uh, this is this is one of the funnest parts of this. And so this is um, this is one of those moments you get to enjoy um, with such a majestic beast like Eleanor herself. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video of getting to know the Cross Timbers Bison Herd. Uh, they're full of character and all kinds of personality. So stay in touch with us. Um, hopefully in one of my upcoming videos, hopefully we have uh, some baby bison on the ground. Thank you guys. Really? Oh, quit it. Stubborn. She's a knucklehead. This is Bell Star. That's the way she acts. She's always got a little crampy attitude. Is that necessary? I don't think so. Oh, cut it out. Cut it out. There's no sense for that. <laughs>